Good evening, everyone. Buck just arrived here for Sunday dinner. You ready? He was hanging out literally waiting right below the hill. Sundays, he don't stay like close by here because we usually have family over. So Buck doesn't want to see nobody. So he hides himself, he hangs out down the hill. Right? You ready? You ready? Once I said you're ready, he comes. Right? You know what ready means. Okay, and tomorrow you get your grapes. These were your last batch of strawberries. So tomorrow you'll be excited because you get grapes. Tomorrow he gets grapes, part of his dinner. I haven't gave him grapes in a long time. It's so beautiful out. I probably even have to come out with a jacket, but this weather has been so tricky that I thought it was going to be cold out, and it's not cold at all, actually. I probably could have stood without a jacket. It would have been fine, but it's all right. eating his dinner it's nice and sunny out it's beautiful out and Buck is wagging his tail I love when the sun shines on him it makes him look even more 10 times beautiful right oh my god he's shedding so much look at all those hairs he has on him you know when they start losing their winter coat it's funny because they look like they got a messed up haircut like they start looking choppy like you see by his neck He's already losing a lot of his winter coat by his neck. Every year, that's usually where it starts, it's by his neck. Just don't drop apples, don't drop anything. Let's push it. Tastes so good, Buck. You dropped anything? You dropped a strawberry. You want your bucket? You want inside the bucket? Or no? I thought he wanted inside his bucket. No. He's such a good boy. Oh, Buck is enjoying his dinner right now. Right? You're really enjoying this dinner. I cut up two apples for him. I sliced up about the last five strawberries that I had left for him. So tomorrow he starts off with the grapes, which he'll be excited. Especially now it's starting to get warmer out. I feel like the grapes will be like refreshing for him. Right? Any bucket? Okay. I know he didn't want any bucket. <laughs> He's so funny. Eventually, he wants his bucket. He's probably like, Mom, just put it in my bucket. All right, so let's put everything in here. We got the butternut squash, apples, and strawberries. Yeah. There you go. Oh, he loves butternut squash. Right, Buck? You love butternut squash. We got the last crumbs. There you go. Now he has everything. He loves it. Right, Buck? You love it. And his antlers actually look a little bit more popping out today. They're popping out a lot more than yesterday. I'm telling you, day by day, they're going to be popping out every day. Every day, we're going to see a difference. Oh, it's so nice out. My son is sleeping. He's inside the house sleeping right now. He'll be due for a bottle in, i uh, say, a half hour. So this time his feeding doesn't land on Buck's feeding. <laughs> they have different feeding times this time. Usually every day, for some how, some reason, the baby's feedings land on his feeding. That then I have to, like, feed the baby. You know, I feed the baby first. I burp him. Change his diaper. Play, give him a couple of kisses, talk to him for a little bit, and then I put him down, and then I come outside and feed Buck. Right, Buck? Because the baby's got to eat first, baby. You forge usually while you wait for me. Buck eats, he forges while he waits for me. So I know he's not, like, starving, starving. The 
a butternut squash probably made him thirsty. He is so cute. seen Thumper. I wonder where Thumper is. The last time I seen Thumper, I think it was like two weeks ago when he was down hanging out down there by the branches. But I haven't seen Thumper recently. Hopefully he's still around and he's doing good. But you know Thumper, he likes to surprise pop-ups every now and then. So like every now and then we see Thumper popping up and I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, you're okay. Thank god. <laughs> so I'm hoping he's okay wherever he is. Now the air even smells like springy. It doesn't smell like cold, chilly winter air. Mm, I love it. It just feels so good. If tomorrow's going to be like today, then I know I could like just wear comfy clothes and not come out with a jacket. Because I'm wearing my coat right now. So I feel a little bit warm right now wearing my coat. But it's not my heavy, heavy winter coat. I haven't worn my heavy winter coat since... Oh, since I can't remember, February maybe was the last time, the beginning of February. I actually still see pieces of bread, so a lot of birds didn't come through. Are you leaving, boy? Are you just seeing the bread? Either he's leaving me or he's eating the bread that's right there at the beginning of the hill. Because I threw a lot of bread today. But Buck is eating it right now. Yep. Buck is eating the bread. Bucky too funny. He's gonna turn around and watch and come right back to his corn bucket. I give it a couple of minutes, he's gonna go right back to his corn bucket. Right now he's smelling a branch that he's like, how did this get here? He probably flew off a tree with the wind this morning and yesterday. Did you eat strawberry that fell? Yes, he did. Because he dropped the strawberry, but he ate it. Wow, I see so much hair shedding off of him. I see so much loose hairs on him right now on his body. I wish he would let me brush him. I wish, but I don't think so. Usually I do it with my hands. When I pet him, I go like this, and I try to take all the dead hairs off of him. I try to help him <laughs> lose the winter coat. But I don't want to really do it too much because I'd rather let it happen naturally, you know? Let him take it off himself. Because he might need those extra hairs <laughs> if it gets cold out. So it's just me and Buck at the spot. I don't see no squirrels. I don't see no birds, which I'm surprised Red the Carnival is not here. Usually Red the Carnival comes here. So I'm sure soon, I think I hear Red. I hear Red the Carnival chirping. I just don't see him. I don't see him, but I hear him. Cause I know his chirps, his little chirps that he does. Wow, this tree right here grew the leaves, the green leaves, so quick. Crazy. I feel like every day I've been watching it and it looks, the leaves on it look bigger and bigger. And the grass is slowly growing in patches all around the ones from last year that I planted last year. I'm surprised it didn't grow back like more bushier. Maybe because all the, like, the bunnies that were eating the grass, they would pull it out from the root or something while they were eating it. I don't know. But I planted a lot more but I slowly see it coming out. I can't wait to go in here and clean. Oh, fuck the cleaning we have to do in here. All right, I spoke too soon. The baby squirrel is back. That's the little baby squirrel that have been popping up every day now. I know it's a baby because his body is so little. It's so tiny, it's so cute. But he won't come close, close to the spot. Right, Buck? He won't come that close. I see another squirrel down there. Like, all the way down there, there's another squirrel. I 
All right, everyone. I gotta get going. I gotta go inside before my son wakes up because, like I said, he's gonna be through for a bottle soon. Probably in a half hour, but sometimes he wakes up literally like 15, 20 minutes before his feeding time and he'll start screaming for a bottle. So sometimes I have to give him his milk a little bit sooner than the actual feeding time that he's supposed, like, that he's due for. But I'm happy that Buck ate. I always get happy as long as he's here and I get to see him. Even if it's for 10 minutes, whatever, you know, and I, I know that he's eating, drinking, and he looks good, I'm happy. Right, Buck? Some days I can hang out with him long and some days, you know, once in a while I want to hang out with him with just 10 minutes just to make him understand that it's not always going to be a long time that I can stay with him. So he doesn't get used to me staying with him for hours like I used to. I feel so bad, but eventually... Once I start taking my son out, I will start hanging out with him longer. And then eventually I want to show him the baby just to see how he looks at the baby, what he does. One day, I'll introduce him to my son. But right now my son is too little to like, you know, come outside, especially with this crazy weather. That one day cold, one day hot, one day cold. I don't want to take my son out like right now. I want to wait till the weather, the weather stays warm. Like every day it's warm, like at least kind of warm, you know, even the way like let's say this weather today. If it stays like this for a week straight, I'll definitely take my son out, like in a stroller. All right, Buck, and then eventually you'll meet the baby too. Yeah. <laughs> He's listening to me when I talk to him. What was over there? It's okay, it's nobody. He's looking around. All right, everyone. Have a great evening and a great, great good night. Me and Buck will be back tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to have to feed him just a little, a little bit earlier, like a half hour to an hour earlier of his normal feeding time. Because usually I feed him 10, 10 30 in the morning, but on Mondays, my husband goes to work a little earlier. He doesn't leave at noon, he leaves a lot earlier, like at 10. So I feed Buck at 9 usually on Mondays. But he comes. Oh, he comes. And sometimes, sometimes in the morning he'll be close by, which is nice. Because I like when he's close by waiting. Why do you keep looking over there? You're making me look. He's making me turn around and look. But nobody's there. Nobody's there. Nobody's there, big boy. You're okay. He's so funny. He keeps looking. But nobody's behind me. Nobody's outside. Like my in-laws, like my family, my brother-in-law, sister-in-law, they all left. Everybody left. Everybody else is inside. My husband's inside. My father, everybody's inside. So it's just me and him. So you don't have to be scared, Buck. It's just me and you. It's nice and quiet outside. I don't hear no blowers, no leaf blowers, no nothing, you know? All right, everyone. I'm going to get going. I know I said that before, but you know me. I always, I always say I'm going to leave, and then I end up telling you guys another story, and then I leave. So, you know, all of you know me by now, the way I am. When I say I'm going to go, you are probably thinking in your head, like, all right, she's really not going to go. She's probably going to go another, like, five minutes. But <laughs> I'm going to get going now. I feel bad I got to leave him at the spot, and it's so beautiful out. I used to love just staying with him until the sun goes down, but it's all right. There'll be many more days that me and Buck get to spend like that, you know? Down the line now when it starts getting warmer out. Right, big boy? All right, everyone, have a great evening and a good night. I know I said it before, but I'll say it again. And I wanna thank all my the subscribers that you guys comment and like my page, like my videos. I appreciate you guys so much, thank you. And thank you for always like popping up every day on the comments. You know, I love reading all your comments. It makes me, it puts a smile on my face. So me and Buck, we appreciate all of you. Thank you. And we'll be back tomorrow morning with another video. Ciao for now.